Uh, hello guys, this is Draxer and uh, here we will explain a C question which was asked in past uh, Code Forces contest. So uh, first of all, I will explain you the question. Uh, you are given three groups. Uh, let's say group 1, group 2 and group 3. And each group contains some number of nodes. So we will say that this group contains uh, A1 number of node. This group contains uh, B number of node or and this group contains C number of node. Now we have to find out uh, number of possible graphs uh, which satisfies this constraints. Now I will explain you the constraint which was given in the question. Uh, it says that uh, any two pair of nodes from the same group, they should not have a uh, distance less than three. So let us say less than three means it should not have distance uh, equal to one and it should not have distance equal to two. Now. We know that distance equal to one means they are directly connected. So this situation we have to avoid. At the same time, distance is equal to two. It means that these two nodes are connected like this. So this situation also we have to avoid. So I think now the question might be clear to you. We have to avoid this two situation and this. All right, guys. So now we'll uh, simplify this question. We'll solve it just for a two sets that how many different possible graphs are possible uh, such that this uh, group G1 and this group G2, this group contains n number of uh, n nodes, this group contains m nodes and which satisfies this given particular constraint. So if I explain you, one, two, dot, 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 n nodes are here and uh, one, two, dot, 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 m nodes are here. So uh, for a time being, let's assume that n is less than m. All right. It means that this here the number of nodes are greater than uh, number of nodes in the group one. All right. So we can easily see that uh, we, uh, when there is no edge between them, that is one of the possible solution. Like this node, uh, this group does not have any edge to this group. So that is a valid solution. All right. Assume that we have only one edge from group one to group two, okay? So this edge can take different forms. Let's say this edge is starting from node one to node one of this side. From node one to node two of this side. Node one to node m of this side. So basically there are m different possible graphs are there uh, where the edge is starting from one and ending in group two, all right? So same, uh, likewise, we can have edge from two Let's say we can have edge from 2 to 1 or we can have edge from 2 to 2 or we can have edge from 2 to m. So if we, uh, if you see carefully, so we will have this m in total n number of times. So if you see this is basically n into m, alright. This is when we have only one edge between those two groups, alright. Uh, now what if we have two edges between those two? So if you look carefully, what we are actually doing is that we are taking two nodes from this and we are choosing any two nodes from this and then we are mapping between those two. Uh, let us take an example that we have two edges between those two groups. So this uh, to uh, have two edges, what we are actually doing is that we will take two nodes from this group and two nodes from this group, all right? So how many different possible ways are there that we can choose two nodes from this? That's easy, we know it, nc2. And for this group also, mc2, all right? So uh, we will choose nc2, uh, we have different nc2 possible uh, ways of choosing two nodes from this, same uh, here also. So now we understood that uh, if there are k edges between these two groups, so basically, there will be n c k multiplied by m c k different possible ways but you have to remember that there is one more factor to be multiplied and i will explain you this factor right now so let us say that you are given one two three four five okay these are the chosen nodes from group one and uh, from the group two we have uh, one one dash two dash 3 dash, 4 dash and 5 dash, alright? So what we are basically doing is that we have chosen these groups, okay? And then we have to pair them up, okay? So it's like coupling this, uh, one of this node to one of the, uh, this node. 
So one of the possible way to couple this is one 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 dash two two dash three three dash four four dash and five five dash. Now if you look at it carefully, what we are basically doing is that one two three four and five. These are fixed. What we can do is this one dash is going here. Uh, sorry, two dash is coming here and one dash. So basically, we just swap two dash and one dash. Okay. In the same way, we can also do like three dash here and one dash here. So basically, we are making a permutation of one dash, two dash, three dash, four dash, and five dash. Now we know that if there are n numbers given, how many different possible permutations are there? Obviously, n factorial. So this is the factor that we have to add. Uh, so if we choose k uh, edges, okay, if we have k edges from group 1 to group 2, so how many possible ways are there to choose k nodes and c k? How many possible ways are there to choose k nodes from group 2 and c k? And how many different possible permutations will be there such that those edges will be, uh, edges will be connected from group 1 to group 2 which will be basically k factorial, alright? So this is our answer, uh, like this is the formula which will derive our answer. So we know that uh, if we have k edges, how to calculate number of different graphs, but what values this k can take, okay? Uh, so we know that uh, if we have k edges from group 1 to group 2, uh, we know number of uh, different possible graphs. Now we have to find out that what all values this k can take, okay? So let's say this is group 1, we have 1, 2, dot, 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 n. And uh, from here, we have group 2, 1, 2, dot, 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 m. Okay. And uh, for time being, we assume that n is less than to m. So, if you look at it carefully, we cannot have more than n edges between those two groups. Because if 1 is connected to 1, 2 is connected to some number 2, and these all numbers are connected, then if you connect any of this node with any of, uh, any of the node in group 2, then they will be connected with distance 2, okay? So, which is not permissible. So, the maximum edges between those two groups is minimum of n or m, where n is a size of the group 1 or and m is uh, the size of the group 2, okay? So, this is clear. Now, what we have to do is basically start from uh, edge is equal to 0, to edge is equal to minimum of n m uh, where n is group 1 size group 2 size for all the uh, possible sizes of edge we will find out the number and we will add it to our sum now there is some modulo given uh, so we will basically do sum is equal to sum plus whatever might be the answer or whatever might be the answer for a particular value of n c k multiplied by mck, uh, multiplied by k factorial, alright, and then we just need to take sum is equal to sum modulo, this given particular mod value. So, I take this from edge is equal to 0 to edge is equal to minimum of nmn, and uh, you will get answer for two groups. Now, how can you use uh, this scenario to find out uh, your final answer that can be explained very easily. If you are given, uh, let's say, group A, group B, group C, okay? So you can, you have X possible, uh, X possible graphs between A to B, you have Y possible graphs between B to C, and you have Z possible graphs between A to C, okay? So you can easily find out how many total graphs are possible. It's nothing but X multiplied by Y, multiplied by z all right so this is our final answer uh, all right so finally you have understood the logic behind this so we will try to go through the uh, important functions how to solve this problem so this was the formula that we derived in uh, the explanation part okay so this is the edge which starts from k is equal to 0 to minimum of n to m okay and uh, yeah, this is a function nck, all right? And this function is defined here. So we will choose basically nck, mck, and multiplied by fact of k. So this fact of k is an array, 
which uh, returns you basically k factorial modulo given particular mod and uh, these things you have to uh, do in the pre-computation part so that uh, the complexity of the problem can be reduced so let's try to understand this ncr function now so ncr is basically nothing but n factorial division by r factorial into n minus r factorial so now you can easily see that this is fact of n this is fact inverse fact of r uh, which you might be already know the how to calculate the inverse modulo function using inverse modulo function and r factorial and n minus r factorial so this is a simple ncr uh, function which uses this modulo operation and inverse factor inverse factorial also so uh, yeah and yeah now if you want to calculate this thing so it's basically x is equal to uh, let's say this is a function we, uh, where we pass integer n and integer uh, m all right and this function ends here oh sorry okay so this is basically nothing but function function a b this is function b c and this is function c a so we have stored these values in x y and z and as i explained earlier your final answer is nothing but x multiplied by y multiplied by z and of course you need to take the modulo in all the places and uh, so yeah that's it i hope you solve the question and get ac after seeing this tutorial good luck